Okay, so we've got our patient positioned here. Just check that they're comfortable. Yahi, are you okay? Yeah, very comfortable, thank you. Okay, and you just want to be able to make sure that you're communicating with the patient during the procedure, just so that they can tell you if they're feeling unwell in any way. We've got the patient exposed to the area that we're going to treat. Um, okay, so um, patient is adequately gowned. If you have a look at their back, uh, for this patient there's lots of little moles on the back. Now, uh, I'm a GP so I can tell that uh, everything seems to be okay. There don't seem to be any suspicious lesions, uh, but if I weren't sure in any way, I'd probably not apply cupping on this patient. Okay, so let's start with uh, disinfecting the skin first. Uh, and remember, once we've disinfected the skin, we're not going to touch that area again. So Yahya, I'm just going to put some cold spray onto your back. Right. This is my chlorhexidine spray. Just squirt the area that we're going to treat. In this case, this area right here. One, two. And I'm just going to use my sterile gauze. Single wipe to make sure I don't go over the same area again. There we are. Put that in the clinical waste. And now we're ready to apply the suction. I've just chosen my cup, which I've chosen a medium-sized cup now. Get my pump. So Yahya, you're just going to feel a little bit of uh, pressure on your back. Okay. okay. One, two. Now you can see I've applied the cup. I checked that it's not moving. And there's blood now coming up to the surface and the skin's going quite red. We're going to leave that on for about three to five minutes for there to be adequate blood flow in that area. Okay, so the cup's been on for about three minutes now, and as you can see, the, the skin is not going blue. It's adequately red and, and perfused, so I'm happy there's enough blood coming to the surface. I'm now going to take that cup off. Just going to release the pressure with the valve, lift the cup off, and then just pop it onto a clean surface right here. Uh, I'm just going to warn the patient what's going to happen next. So yeah, yeah, I'm just going to make some small cuts on the skin. They're going to feel like small scratches, all right? Let me know if there's any discomfort. Okay. I've got my cutting instrument now. Remember, I'm not touching this area now because I've already cleaned it. And I'm going to stretch the skin and just make some small incisions on the skin to allow the blood to flow to the surface. And it's a very short, sharp movement. I'm not... I'm not cutting, I'm just actually touching the surface. I think that's enough. I'm going to put my blade into the sharp spin straight away so I don't scratch myself. Popping my cut back on now. So yeah, here we're just gonna pop the cut back on. You might feel a little bit of heat coming through now, all right? Okay. So one, two, three. There we are. Check there's uh, enough suction there. We don't want any nasty blood spillages if the cup comes loose. And just check that it's in the right place. Now we have blood flow. And as you can see, the blood is flowing quite freely now. And we're going to leave that on for three to five minutes. Just going to check the patient's okay, still talking, not getting too cold or clammy. Okay, so I think, so I think this cup's been on for long enough now and there's enough blood in here and I'm happy that I've got good blood flow. So I'm going to take this cup off, making sure there's no blood spillage and it's going to go straight into the clinical waste. Okay, so I'm just going to release the pressure now. Just let the blood rest there for a bit so that it gets enough time to coagulate, minimize the risk of spillage. I'm just going to lift the cup up and wipe from underneath with my gauze, which is still clean. Just wipe the surface and it goes straight into the waste bag. As you can see, that area is nice and clean. We're going to put some local anesthetic on, still making sure that there is no touching the area that we've cupped. Put my anesthetic cream on there with some chlorhexidine. Again, wiping it just in a clockwise fashion, not going over the same area twice. Straight into the chemical waste bag again. And I've got my bandage here that I'm going to um, place on top of the wound. Still making sure I'm not touching any part of the middle which is going to go onto the wound itself. And I just pop it on. Just like that. Secure it. And there we have one cup complete. Okay, so now it's time for a bit of housekeeping. 
everything is going to go in the clinical waste that's uh, blood stained. We've got rid of our sharps already, so we don't need to worry about that. Here's my clinical waste bag that I had at hand. It's going to go into the clinical waste. So I'll just take this off. Hold that up. Inject it in. And that's going to get incinerated. My gloves and apron will go in there too. And I've got a nice, clean pair of scrubs for my next patient.